Hey guys, I know I haven't been on in a while, but I decided to create a tutorial on how to make a Mookie Boot USB flash drive. So let's get started. First things first, you're going to have to plug in your USB flash drive. If you have anything on this flash drive, you're going to need to delete it or back it up because we will be formatting the drive. Right click and click format. If you have a newer or larger drive, you will only have NTFS or XFAT selection. If that's the case, you're going to need to download a third party tool called GUI Format from Ridgecrop. I'll show you how to download that later. I'm going to format this disk as FAT32. There we go, this drive is formatted. Now, if you needed to download the GUI Format tool, Go to your internet and search GUI format, all one word. Should be the first link from Ridgecrop. Once you're at this page, just click the picture. Now save the file. Once the download completes, click the application. Please be sure to select the right drive letter because if you select the wrong drive letter, the drive will be formatted and you'll run into nasty problems. To double check your drive letter, go to My Computer and our drive letter is D. So select D and then click Start and it'll format your drive. Now click Close. Now we're going to search Yumi, your universal multi boot installer should be the first link from pendrive linux we're going to scroll down and find the big blue button that says download yumi and save the file once completed start the installer click i agree and select your drive letter mine is d Now you can select the distro you would like to install, or if you can't find the correct distro in the list, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and select try an unlisted ISO. But I found this is a very low success rate. Try it at your own risk. But I definitely recommend selecting a distro from the list. I will be installing XPUD. You can either visit the home page to manually download it, or you can click the download the ISO checkbox and select yes to launch the download link. Save the file. Once the file has been saved, we can return to Yumi and browse for the ISO. Once the ISO has been found, open it and then click create. It's going to tell you Yumi is ready to install SysLinux bootloader, label your USB drive multi-boot, and then install your selected distro. Please be sure you have selected the right drive letter. Like I said, it will format your drive. So I'm going to select yes. Yumi is going to install the bootloader and extract the selected distro to your USB. Once Yumi is complete, you can read the details box and then click next. And for this tutorial, we're going to install one more distro, so I'm going to say yes. The next distro I will be installing is Damn Small Linux. And I'm going to download the ISO. and save the file. Once the download finishes, return to Yumi and browse for the ISO. Open it and click create. Again, Yumi will extract your installed distro to your USB drive. Click next and select no for no more distros. 
Now we can close these two tabs that we use to install the distros. And now I'm going to copy over a USB icon for our multi-boot drive. Next, paste it to the root of the multi-boot flash drive. Next, we need to create an autorun.inf file. Be sure that you have a text document with a little gear icon. If you can't see the .txt when you create a new text document, go to Folder Options, click the View tab, and uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Then click Apply and OK. Once done, you should be able to see the .txt extension and change it to .inf. Once changed, you should see a text document with a little gear icon. Now, type the information as follows into the autorun.inf file. Save the file. And we can close it. Now we need to rename inside the multiboot folder a file called vasamenu.c32. We're going to append a hash mark in the beginning of the file. And now we need to download a tool called rmprepusb. So open your internet browser, create a new tab, and type rmprepusb, all one word. Should be the first link, rmprepusb.com. Click the download tab in the upper left corner. Scroll down to find install underscore rmprep usb underscore full underscore version and then the version number. Download and save the file. Once the download completes, open the zip file and extract the file. Once extracted, run the installer to install RMPrep USB to your computer. Once the install is completed, click close and then say yes to run RMPrep USB now. Select your drive letter, mine's D, and then click the big button that says test using QEMU emulator. Be sure to type 0 to specify no virtual hard drive and click OK and then leave the default. You should receive an error that says syslinux and then the version number. Write down the version number for later use. Mine is 4.06. So we can close this and close our prep USB. Now we can remove the hash mark that we appended to the vasamenu.c32 file. Next we can run our prep USB again and test the bootloader. Be sure to remember to put zero. Once we have tested and seen that the Yumi multi-boot USB has loaded and does work, we can close the emulator and close RM prep USB. Next we need to plug in our second USB flash drive. Again, if you have any files on this flash drive they need to be deleted or backed up to an external drive because this flash drive will be formatted as well. Go to my computer and right click the new flash drive, mine is H, and format the drive. Again if it's a newer or larger drive you may only have NTFS or XFAT. Use the GUI format third party tool we discussed earlier. I'm gonna format mine as FAT32. Alright, this drive has been formatted. Now we need to download syslinux.exe. Open a new tab and search syslinux. Should be the second link, download from syslinux wiki. 
Once at this page, click the download link from kernel.org. Once at this page, search for your syslinux version number with the .zip extension. Mine was 4.06, so I will be downloading this file. syslinux4.06.zip Click the link and save the file. Once the zip has downloaded, open it and extract the file. Once the extraction is complete, search for the correct directory depending on your version of Windows. I'm running 32-bit version of Windows, so I will select Win32. If you're running 64-bit, select Win64. You should see syslinux.exe or syslinux64.exe in the root of the folder. Now copy the path and open an elevated command prompt. Change directory to the path you copied and hit enter. Next we're going to type syslinux.exe dash maf dash d space forward slash multiboot and then space and your drive letter. Be sure to double check your drive letter because this is installing a bootloader to your second USB flash drive. My second USB flash drive is drive H. So we'll put the letter H and hit enter. If you receive an error, be sure to check you ran the command prompt as administrator. Otherwise, you should just get another blank line showing that the command has completed successfully. Now we can close this. Close the syslinux folder and minimize the browser. Next, we can select the first USB drive and copy all contents and paste it on the second USB drive. Once completed, run RM prep USB and select your second USB drive and test using QEMU emulator. Be sure to put zero for no virtual hard drive and leave the default. Once we have verified that the Yumi Multiboot USB Syslinux menu has correctly been installed on the second USB, we can close the emulator and RM prep USB. And for extra verification, we can go to our internet browser and search Beyond Compare. Should be the first link from Scooter Software. Click Download and Download again. Save the file. Once the file downloaded finished, run the installer. Accept any agreements they ask. Once it's installed, launch Beyond Compare. And select Folder Compare. Now we're going to type in the path of both our USB drives. First one is D, and the second one is H. So we'll type those in the pass and beyond compare. The left side will be D, and the right side will be H. Then we need to click the little down arrow looking thing that loads both sides. Next, we can select everything on the left side, right click, and click compare contents. Make sure everything in these texts are the same and select include hidden items in operation and be sure CRC comparison is selected and once done click start 
Beyond compare will compare the files, and the log should say successfully compared however many items. Once done, you should look at the icons, and if they're all black, that means that they're the exact same files, and you have cloned your multi-boot USB drive. Close Beyond Compare. And now we are able to safely remove both our USB drives. They are ready to be put into a computer that supports USB booting. Thanks for watching my tutorial, and I'll be back again next time.